welcome to Family with Judy, a new YouTube channel that is intended to share information and tips on family and family law. My name is Judy Songori. I am a family lawyer. Together with me are Karu and Ken, who will help me share information. Karu and Ken, join me and help me take this information to the people that deserve and need it. Thank you. Thank you, Judy, for the opportunity to help us understand better what family and the family dynamics are. And let's just jump right into it. Uh, what is family? Uh, simply put, I speak to the family of choice and the family of origin. Mm -hmm. For me, the family of origin is where you come from, those who give birth to you, those who adopted you, and the family of choice are those you marry and those that you give birth to or you, uh, you, or you adopt, mm -hmm. simply put, mm. yes. Hey, what about the families that come around in school, the, the ones you work with? Is, is that family? Is that... Um, in a loose sense, they are referred to as family, but the truth of the matter mm -hmm. is that they are colleagues, yes. uh, they are friends, mm -hmm. and they are, um, how do I say, fellow students. I mean, we have all those, mm -hmm. but they are not the family we are talking about here. I Though, see. of course, sometimes they get so close that you think and you feel like they are like they're your family. We are talking about people with whom you have um, a relationship because you share a blood connection, mm -hmm. a legal connection, that's adoption, mm -hmm. a legal con connection also because you're married to them, and a blood connection because you've given birth to them. Exactly. So why talk about family? Because it's the only thing that you must talk about. Um, family, as our constitution says, is the fundamental unit of society and the basis of social order. We talk a lot about institutions. We talk about government. We talk about the judiciary. We talk about the executive. We talk about parliament. But what we sometimes forget is that the most important and central institution the one that affects all of us is family. So it is, in my view, the only institution that we should talk about. Yeah. Judy, you have spoken about family for yes. a long time, and mm -hmm. there are many other discussions online mm -hmm. and in the media. Mm -hmm. Don't you think these conversations are enough about family? You know, Carol, the fact that you ask that question tells me that there are not enough conversations mm -hmm. because the family unit is so fundamental that we have not yet had enough conversations in this country or indeed elsewhere mm -hmm. about its definition. So yes, we need to speak a lot more than we have spoken about family. Well, I hope that it will be an opportunity to comprehensively discuss family. And you are right, I have spoken about family elsewhere, but I have spoken um, for limited times and uh, limited extents, I hope that I can now speak comprehensively, you know, day by day, week by week mm -hmm. about family. Mm -hmm. I hope that I'll also be able to get feedback from those who are watching it uh, in respect of areas that they would like me to address more. So I hope that there will be value add. Mm -hmm. But I also hope that I can share tips mm -hmm. on um, family law experiences and lessons learned. I hope that uh, somebody will be able to listen to me and say that is what I have been looking for, mm. an answer mm -hmm. to a question that I have had in my heart for a long time. Mm -hmm. mm. Uh, in fact, yeah. Kenyans are experiencing uh, a lot, uh, especially now with the uh, rising taxation, mm -hmm. now we have the financial act. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm, I'm wondering uh, just how uh, the link between family, the mm -hmm. discussion that you're going to have, mm -hmm. and what Kenyan, the, the challenges that Kenyans are experiencing now, what's, what's the, the link and what would make them discuss or want even to listen uh, to our discussions right uh -huh. here on family? Okay, you see, I say this, mm -hmm. the smallest unit of devolution mm -hmm. is a family. Yeah. That's where we feel everything yep. that goes around the, the, the country. And the, and the globe, for that matter. Mm. The cause of hunger, where do you feel it most? 
in the house. Mm -hmm. The cost of electricity, mm -hmm. the cost of uh, petrol, the cost of bread. Mm -hmm. You feel it more the in the family than home. anywhere else. Mm -hmm. It's that individual at home. Absolutely, mm -hmm. you see. Mm -hmm. So I don't know that there's a better place to appreciate the concerns that are caused by the high cost of living mm -hmm. than in the family. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, okay. So tell us a little bit, Judy. How yes. has family defined you as a person? Oh, in many ways, mm. in more ways than I could ever tell you. Mm. My family of choice, mm. which is the uh, family that I'm married to, my husband and my children, mm. define me uh, because until they're okay, I'm not okay. Mm. And it mm. is so, by the way, also mm. for my family of origin. I have said this many times when we've gone to meetings that uh, the reason why we showed up in meetings is because our families were okay. If our mm. families were not okay, and indeed those who did not show up, did not show up because their families were not okay. Absolutely. So absolutely. And then whether you have a good day or a bad day mm -hmm. depends on how it started in the morning. Okay. Um, how you enjoy uh, the little successes mm -hmm. that happen in the course of the day. Yeah. You've got to pay rice. You've got a good deposit coming in. You know, mm. it's only it's it's only satisfying mm -hmm. when you have people to share it with, and when those people are happy to receive the news about that. Yeah. yeah. How how many times mm. uh, how many times, Carol, do you go for like you want something good happen? Yes. And you want to share it with somebody, and mm. only, you want the people close to you, and that is family. Yes. So I I thoroughly understand what you're no, saying. No, you hear me. You just want to go home yes. and tell that person. Oh my God, look yeah. what happened today. Indeed, mm -hmm. indeed. Mm -hmm. And also the difficulties that happen in the course mm -hmm. of the day. Mm -hmm. It was also very helpful when you have someone to share it with. Mm -hmm. So when you're not talking to the significant other person in your life, those small successes yeah. in, in the course of your day yeah. fall flat sure. in many ways. Very you know, mm -hmm. So family is very defining. But the family of origin mm -hmm. is who I am, is my backbone. Mm -hmm. Is my factory setting and because i was brought up by a single mother mm -hmm. over time i have come to identify aspects of me mm -hmm. that are influenced by that fact initially i didn't think that there was anything uh, about me that would identify with the fact that uh, i was brought up by a single mother because i was fine mm -hmm. uh, I, I i feel and i felt that my mother provided for us well Mm -hmm. um, she was a disciplinarian in every way, but also an encourager in very many other ways. Mm -hmm. uh, taught us to strive, you know, hard, provided for us uh, financially to the best of her ability. And then I had uh, significant males in my life when I was growing up. Mm -hmm. My maternal uncles, very, very close and uh, very supportive. So I thought I was fine. And in, mm -hmm. indeed, I was. But uh, in the course of my life and in the course of becoming more sensitive, I now know that the reason why I encourage our parents wow. to have the other parent mm. co-parent with them is because I missed the co-parent mm. in my life. Mm. So I think that it makes a difference when a child has a mother and a father participating. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I think that if there is such a person in a single mother's life or single father's life mm -hmm. who is willing to participate in co-parenting, even if they do not bring bread, mm -hmm. and it is important mm -hmm. that they bring bread, because mm -hmm. bread is important. Wait, you and by bread I mean maintenance. Yeah. The child is not born with a plate. Yeah, you know, yes, by the way, uh, we'll get there, we'll get there, we'll get there, that the child is born with a plate. Eh? Mm -hmm. um, I think there's also, I feel, there's many other aspects of uh, participation that are important other than financial, mm -hmm. the physical, and the emotional. So that is a lesson that comes with me from uh, having been brought up by a single parent. Oh, mm -hmm. What a definition. Yeah. I, mm -hmm. I think... Um, having been brought up by a single mm -hmm. mother myself, mm -hmm. I, I share very similar mm -hmm. overviews of life. So basically, uh, I do not think that I missed out on anything. Mm -hmm. I eventually 
yes, there have been such a male figures as well around me, and mm -hmm. however, having two parents, mm -hmm. I, I believe, mm -hmm. like you said, it's 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 a I won't I don't say a better setting, but mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a more ideal setting mm -hmm. than mm -hmm. you have two points of view mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to whatever values are being instilled into your life as you grow up. Yes. There are two points of view, mm -hmm. and I think you have the male side and the female side, so mm -hmm. it's. There, there is an advantage to that. There is, yeah. absolutely. Mm -hmm. There is. Mm -hmm. I tend to agree, but mm -hmm. then I'm I'm thinking of uh, you know, uh, at least um, fathers nowadays. Mm -hmm. Fathers, mm -hmm. they play with their children. Mm -hmm. They take them out. Mm -hmm. I'm just remembering fathers mm -hmm. in my day growing up. <laughs> they were disciplinarians yeah. and they were providers. Yeah. So mm -hmm. uh, here I am, I'm a little girl going mm -hmm. to primary school mm -hmm. uh, from a single uh, mother mm -hmm. uh, family. Mm -hmm. And I know that I don't have to argue much. I just need to be right mm -hmm. with my mother. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then I have uh, friends or you know classmates mm -hmm. who now uh, they hear their father is coming home mm -hmm. from Nairobi mm -hmm. and they are terrified. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And they have to be, because they will be beaten yeah. for sure. Yeah. They will get the biscuit mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. the bread, yeah. and, and the, but they'll be beaten mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. they'll, everyone will be uh, so scared mm -hmm. until the father goes back mm -hmm. to Nairobi mm -hmm. or wherever it is they, yeah. they work. Mm -hmm. So now, uh, someone who has grown uh, up with that, mm -hmm. uh, you wonder now, um, what's the value other than fear mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and providing <laughs> and paying school fees, yeah. what's the yeah. value of a man mm -hmm. if he's only going to bring in fear? Mm -hmm. Everyone is going to be tense until he goes back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's it's an interesting one, but I think there's also a natural curiosity mm -hmm. uh, to every child and for every child about uh, the other parent mm -hmm. when the other parent is not available. Mm -hmm. And when that happens, the child has s develops coping mechanisms. In our time, you didn't talk about your father to your single mother. Mm -hmm. You did no. not talk mm. about him mm. no matter how curious you are yes. mm -hmm. you didn't ask because it was mm. just not asked mm. but imagine now then as a, a little girl what images did i conjure up mm. in my head what did i think yeah. i mean look my cousin said their father's there mm. many other people around me are their father yeah. so i mean i don't know maybe there's a place in me mm. that i'm yet to get into i'd like to open mm. that place and mm. find out what was i thinking you know, what was I? Because I must have thought something. Mm -hmm. I must have wondered. Sure. You know, I wondered. I was curious about very many things. Mm -hmm. For sure, I was curious about that. But yet, mm -hmm. I couldn't voice it with my mother. I couldn't voice it with my uncles. I couldn't voice it with my grandmother. Mm -hmm. So interesting, interesting point. But um, what do we share with the single mothers of today? Mm -hmm. I would say that it is intentionality about bringing up your children because when they grow up <coughs> excuse me and by the way i shouldn't have said single mothers it's single parents yeah. because there are also many single fathers yeah. right? intentionality because when they grow up seeing their father doing everything boys seeing their fathers doing everything is there an expectation when they grow up and they meet um, somebody in their lives that they want to spend the rest of their lives with that they will end up doing what they, they saw their father doing, like doing everything, you see, and therefore taking too much responsibility on their shoulders. Mm -hmm. Is there a chance that the girl who's brought up by a single dad mm -hmm. will also expect that the same thing she saw her father doing, you know, doing it all, mm -hmm. is what her husband should do, okay? And unless the man she's married was also brought up by a single father yeah. who was doing everything, mm -hmm. the potential for conflict mm -hmm. is very very oh, I can tell high. you, I have been in conflict mm -hmm. based on that. Mm -hmm. You know, having again a single mother, yeah. uh, somewhere in there, you know, my clothes were yes. washed, my, yes. I was cooked for. Uh, yes. The roles that we, yeah. the older, I don't want to say the older generation, but Thank we previously you. Thank thought, you. <laughs> we previously thought yeah. that the roles that we previously thought yeah. were female oriented. Yes. My mom did those. Yes. So now when I got into. Uh, mm -hmm relationship mm -hmm. i expected the same from my yes. significant other and yes. so of course she wanted what what is so there was conflict yes. i have gone into conflict mm -hmm. over that, over that. Mm -hmm. um, now eventually of course i've learned uh, yeah. with some self-awareness and yes. with some age mm -hmm. <laughs> but for the most part um mm -hmm. yes there was conflict 
Yes. It just takes a little learning. And I think this part of the show here. Yes. Yeah. Learning about doing things with intention. Mm-hmm. So I intentionally mm-hmm. learned, hey, you can wash your own clothes. Indeed. <laughs> yeah. Indeed. And you won't die. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> but then the, the, to the single mother. So we talked about the single father. What about the single mother uh, who brings up children and does the best that she can do you know, 100% of being a mother, mm-hmm. and the ch- children grow up seeing their mother doing everything, mm-hmm. and therefore, in their mind is inculcated the expectation that the females can do it all. Mm-hmm. Even those single mothers need to be intentional to make their children know, to make their girls know that they don't have to do everything. everything yeah. If they have a mate in their lives, if they have somebody else in their lives, mm-hmm. Um, they should let that person also co-parent exactly. and also take their, how do I say, take their space, mm-hmm. you see. Mm-hmm. And by the way, they don't even have to be married mm-hmm. for them to allow the other person to take their space, mm-hmm. you see. Mm-hmm. They just need to be intentional mm-hmm. about it. Yeah. And the boys that, they, that are brought up by the single mothers mm-hmm. should be, the, the mothers should uh, bring them up to tell them, don't expect that what I'm doing here will be done by your wife. Mm. You know, mm-hmm. again, intentionality. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. But before we leave that topic, it's yeah. also important yeah. to say the following, yeah. that even in non-single, um, even in a general family, mm. uh, each family socializes their children differently. Mm-hmm. And they socialize them based on what they know best. Mm-hmm. And they know best how to socialize because of how they were brought up, you know, and so on and so forth. So that I keep telling young people, when you meet another person and you want them to be part of your life, Mm -hmm. you're attracted to them, you're interested in them, Mm -hmm. one of the key things you must consider Mm -hmm. is how they have been socialized. Mm -hmm. Because socialization makes them who they are. Mm -hmm. And you know, people meet up for many reasons. Attraction is based on how people look Mm -hmm. and potential. Mm-hmm. But I keep saying, alignment is what makes you weather the storm of life. Mm-hmm. Okay? Yeah. So even as opposites attract, mm-hmm. it is important that on the most on the on the most important and common values mm-hmm. you have alignment. Mm-hmm. Okay? And if you don't look for that, then sooner than later you're going to start saying, Oh, we are not aligned, we are not aligned, and you start uh, drifting apart. Mm-hmm. So socialization is important, not just for those who are from single family, but I think for everyone. For everybody. Yeah. 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 Mm. I like the what you talked about intentionality mm. because uh, single parenthood has been uh, demonized, so to speak, mm. on the social media. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But now we, we learn mm-hmm. that uh, we are scarred mm-hmm. in one way or the other, mm-hmm. whether we are from a single family mm-hmm. or from you know a, a family that has two parents. Mm-hmm. So, however, we parent, we mm-hmm. need to be intentional about it, whether it's single by choice. Uh, single by circumstances mm. or whether you're in a married mm. union. I think we also need to say yeah. that it's not just negativity. I mean, okay, so being brought up by a single parent, yes. it's not just negative. Mm. Uh, and I hope that we didn't bring it out as negative. No, no, it's not no, just no. about, I don't know, the, the, vices, uh, the, the vices or the challenges. There are, values there are also very many mm-hmm. positives. Mm-hmm. Um, and so, you know, single parents should not feel like this space is intended to discourage them yes. because if you're single, it is what it is. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Do the best you can do. Exactly. And Intend, that yeah. comes out of many yeah. circumstances. Yes. It's not just, um, yes. you know, just a separation. Yes. There could be death. Exactly. There's so many circumstances. Yes. Not everybody who can be yeah. in a two parent setup. Yes. However, it's just there's an ideal yes. setup. However, yes. it's yeah. it's not for everyone also. You Indeed. Know, you're still within a family if you bring up children as a single parent. Absolutely. Exactly. Like that. Absolutely. I think that's important to Absolutely. Yeah. Well we've come to the end of episode one. Thank you so much. Uh that has been so informative. What do you think, Carl? Oh it's been uh, <laughs> very, very educative for wow. me. Yes, right? very interesting, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Um, now, Judy, what, what should our viewers look forward to in the upcoming episodes, episode two, three, to infinity? Wow, more of that. Mm-hmm. 
and even better. Mm-hmm. We're just warming up uh-huh. to the topic of family. So I hope we'll also be able to give tips to people who could be facing challenges in court. You know, perhaps we could share with you mm-hmm. how you can overcome some of those challenges. So welcome again. I am sure it will even be more interesting than this one was, if that's possible.